Welcome to the second module of Human Resources Management. In this module, we will see the recruitment and selection process. But before we jump onto the topic, we will have a brief overview about manpower planning. It is also called as manpower budget. The exercise has the following inputs. First one is estimation of HR requirement based on business expansion activities like it is done by targeted growth method, extrapolation of past performance, market share estimate of future, zero based projections by effort data proposed to put in, percentile improvement of past averages, moving averages method, etc. The second one is after estimation of future requirements, arithmetic balancing has to be done. Like here we will see some abbreviations total that needs to be achieved for the coming year or projected year here we will denote it by ta current manpower hr that is chr actual requirements that would happen during the year rhr terminations due to non performance thr dismissal or termination due to indiscipline as per percentage of past experience DHR, resignations as per industry or company norms of past, AHR, death natural calamity loss of employee numbers, NCLHR, savings or extra manpower saved due to automation, SHR. So the balancing equation here comes out to be TA minus CHR minus RHR minus THR minus DHR minus AHR minus NCL HR plus SHR is equal to to be recruited in the coming year TRCY. The third one is to be recruited during coming year has to be again apportioned by the following. Fresh campus recruitment from different levels. Employee referral schemes. Paper advertisement for fresh staff. Experienced personnel from the other organization by scouting through media like internet, paper, TV or other media. Now coming to the HR planning and recruitment. The recruitment and selection process consists of following points like deciding what position have to be filled through personal planning and forecasting. Building a pool of candidates for these jobs by recruiting internal or external candidates. Having candidates complete application forms and perhaps undergoing an initial screening interview. Using selection techniques like test, background investigations and physical exams to identify viable candidates. Deciding who to make an offer to by having the supervisor and perhaps other on the team interview the candidates. Succession planning, the process of deciding how to fill the company's most important executive jobs. What to forecast in this process. So overall personal needs, the supply of inside candidates, the supply of outside candidates, linking employers strategy to plans. Now how to forecast and factor affecting forecast. The trend analysis, that is, the study of firms' past employment needs over a period of years. Ratio analysis, that is, forecasting technique for determining future staff needs. The scatter plot, graphical method used to help identify the relationship between two variables. Computerized or simulation forecast, use of software packages to determine future staff needs. Human Resource Information Systems HRIS to determine employees background experience and skills. Forecasting the supply of outside candidates. Source of information. External factors affecting recruitment and internal factors affecting recruitment. Now we will see the advantages of centralizing recruitment. 
like it strengthens employment brand, ease in applying strategic principles, reduces duplication of HR activities, reduces the cost of new HR technologies, builds team of HR experts, provides for better measurement of HR performance, allows for the sharing of applicant pools. Now, sourcing of candidates, how it is done? So it is done through advertising, drafting effective advertisements, types of employment agencies, temporary staffing and agencies, foreign employees, and internet recruiting. Now coming to the testing process. Shortlisting eligible candidates from various sources listed above testing of the candidates are essential. For fresh candidates through academic marks are the indicators of their past performance, but they are not complete indicators. Then after we had an IQ test. So after that IQ test, we had an validation or compatibility with normally accepted IQ scores. Like initially the test was administered to willing volunteers in the desired age group and the scores often we re-correlated to their normal IQ test is scoring with the help of psychological experts. Like in Shiram group of companies, it was finally introduced and there were currently three different tests for different requirements. They have been used for Shiram group of companies for the past four to five years and the feedback from the major user STFC has been good as there has been increased indents for testing and selection every year. Roughly these tests have been administered to more than 45,000 candidates so far and the group itself has absorbed more than 3,000 staffs based on these tests establishing the practical validation as of 2009. Now we will see the list of tests. These includes intelligence test, test of cognitive abilities, Test of general intellectual abilities that measure a range of abilities including memory, vocabulary, verbal fluency, and numerical ability. Aptitude test. Test that measure specific mental abilities such as inductive and deductive reasoning, verbal comprehension, memory, and numerical ability. Numerical ability test. Reading comprehension test and test of motor abilities. Other tests like we had an achievement test, test that measure what a person has already learned. Second, web-based or online testing eliminates costly and inefficient paper and pencil testing processes and allows for role playing by applicants. Use of computer-based scoring eliminates rater bias and provides immediate scoring and feedback of results to applicants and are readily customized for specific jobs. Thank you.